for the longest time, I've been trying to get an LDAP server running on FreeBSD, and I've never really had much success. So I thought I'd give it a go today. So for this one, all I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the handbook and see how it goes. So this is the handbook. There it is. Let's see how we go with that. It should be quite simple because it's quite straightforward. There's only a few commands there to run. We'll give it a go. Okay, so we're going to assume that you've got your company domain and that you've got your LDAP server location sitting at LDAP.domain name. So in this instance, it's going to be LDAP.garyhtech.uk. Let's give it a go. So first things first, let's install Open LDAP. Now, this document was written in 2023, so I'm hoping that it's still the same version numbers. It may not be. Looks like it is. So we'll continue with that. This FreeBSD instance, completely blank apart from Pico Alpine, my editor of choice. So let's clear that. That's installed. And we need to edit. Let's go into it. User local etc. Open LDAP schema. Uh, that's not what we want to edit. Go back one. Right, so we want to edit firstly ldap.conf. Here we go. So this is all we need to change. We want to change the, the base, which is your domain name, Gary H Tech, and then the URI base, ldap Gary H Tech dot UK, and we'll change the six six. No, we won't. Mm, yeah, we will. No, we'll get rid of that. Let's get rid of that for now. Let's just follow the document and see how it goes. Quite interesting to see if this works. Okay, so now we need to go into the schema directory. Before we do that, let's have a quick look. So there we go. There's everything that's in there. So one directory, schema, and then all the other stuff. So go into schema, core. Is it even there? Yes, it is. So let's edit core.schema. And we want to include cousin. Okay, which is not included anywhere. Okay, so we'll just add it in here. So we want to add in two includes for cousin.schema and nis.schema. So let's put those in there. Right at the top, uncomment module load, which is not there. Interesting. So this is what I mean about... Oh, okay. I gotcha. Right. So it helps you actually edit the right file, doesn't it? Come out of schema. Edit slapd.conf. Right. So include append the following after core.schema. Okay. And then look for module load. Manage to close my web page. Right. So uncomment module load back LDAP. Okay. Root password, what's it called? Root PW. So for this, I'm literally going to use exactly what it says in the handbook. So I just want to get it running and then that's it. Right, set the suffix, which will be Gary, oh, Gary H tech dot UK. No, it won't. Gary H tech, my uh, comment, comma, UK. Gary H tech, UK. And we'll change that to admin for root dn. Set the root password for the MD database using slap password. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure that's right. So root password. Okay. So just in case you're unsure, uh, where are we? Just in case you're unsure, there it is. So you just type in slap password. Enter in the password, confirm it, and it gives you the output. So there we go. Uh, next, what do we need next? Set the suffix and root DN for the MD database, which I've done. Output of slap password. Okay, finally, edit user local etc open LDAP slap d dot 
Eldith. Right, yeah. OLC suffix. OLC suffix. There we go. So we'll change that to our domain. And the root DN. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bind DN. Where's bind DN? OLC root PW. Let's bung in that output of slap password. Okay. So that's all we need to do in there. Closed. Installing LDAP scripts. I guess this is a way of testing whether it's actually working. So let's do that. Package. Install. LDAP scripts. Yes, please. Thank you very much. And edit ldapscripts.com. So let's come out of this directory. LDAP scripts. Uh, ldapscripts.com. Okay. Server. Okay. Suffix. Mh tech dot. I mean suffix suffix. Yep. Bind dn. Where's bind dn? There it is. And we change that to admin and carry h tech. UK. Personal preference. Start the UID from ten thousand. GID from fifteen thousand. Mid from twenty thousand. So where's that GID start? It looks like these are optional, so but we'll go we'll go with what it says. Okay. Set the home directory and default shell if you're planning on using NFS home, then make sure that you modify U homes as needed. Fix password gen as some FreeBSD versions don't run properly without EMV. Okay, I'm not gonna do most of that. I will fix the password gen and it tells me what to use there. Pretty similar to what's there to be fair but we're going to just copy it completely. Okay, set the correct path of icon V. Icon V bin, use a bin. 8859.15, yep, or hyphen 15, and that's that done. We can now finally initialize the LDAP directory with Unix data by running LDAP in it. Make sure that LDAP.awesome.com is reachable via ICMP. You can check by running ping. If you haven't configured DNS, you may want to modify hosts. Yeah, we'll do that because I'm not doing DNS, not in this one anyway. So etc hosts, and we want our IP address, which was 10.148.86.57, I believe. 10.148.86.57, yep, okay. And that will be LDAT H tech.uk and then we'll check it by running a ping. There you go, it's responding, so that's good. Okay. Right, so LDAP init. You must set icon v char before running these scripts. Oh yeah. Didn't uncomment it, but it is uncommented on the web page. Okay, let's try again. Errors encountered, eh? Yeah, see, this is why this is why I've never really got it working. Encountered error creating root DN, creating regular OUs. Okay, what errors? Can't connect to server. You know why, don't you? It's probably not started. Okay, right, let's try that again. Yeah, I don't understand. This always happens. Invalid credentials, LDAP bind. So I want to find out if this server is actually reachable, but obviously LDAP scripts I've configured wrong somehow. So I'll try it a different way. Okay, right, so. Yeah, all I want to do is just check to see if LDAP is running. And it is. Yeah, well, this is uh, interesting. 
Failed to create new tree. Failed to connect to LDAP server on port 389. Yeah. I mean, it's running. Interesting. So it is running. But it just won't connect. Why is it that it won't connect? <laughs> Weird. See, this always happens with LDAP. I never get it quite right. Oh. It's running. <laughs> That's about all it's doing. Strange, strange, strange. I don't really know where I can go with that. I mean, start the year as you mean to go on, though, Gary. Gary can't figure out why L Dape isn't running. He just sits there. Staring at his screen He may figure out that he missed removing a comment But that would mean looking back over his work Yeah, yeah see? Slap D is running Let's try rebooting. I don't think that's going to make much of a difference, to be honest. See, it's running. It's definitely running. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so there is extra stuff that I can look into, and I probably will. I'm not going to do it now. For now, what I will say is LDAP is running and I've got no way of connecting to it, but I'll work on that. And there is an article on docs.freebsd relating to LDAP authentication. So I'll look into that and see if any of that can help me set this up. In the meantime, feel free to drop a comment and let me know if I've uh, missed something glaring and don't forget to like subscribe and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next one take care